Hi everyone, it's Sh <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Sheena and I'll be taking you around my school, Soar Foreign School, on a little tour so you guys can see where I attend school on a regular basis. So let's get going. Usually there's a teacher standing right here, and two teachers, and then you get your temperature check and get a stamp. If you see here, I have a stamp. And before each period, they have to check that you have a stamp on to make sure that you are set and ready to go. So, I'm here at the second floor. I'll be taking you around in this floor because almost all the floors look the same. So first there's a north wing and a south wing. North is just a hallway. Sorry about that. <laughs> north wing is a hallway for science labs and the south wing is for learning spaces. So we'll just take you this way for now. So before heading to the hallways, you can see there's a large community area right here. This, oh that's my back right there, is an amazing way just to hang out with friends. And I always come here almost every single break and lunch just to hang out and chill with friends. And Usually in these large sofas and over here, where you just take naps. This is like a study zone, just a place to chill with your friends, play board games. And these couches right here are like the secret sleeping spots where it's like, I don't want to talk to you, please don't mess with me kind of areas. And I also love the fact that the community zone is super bright here. The school is so open as most of its walls, if you turn over right here, are glass. So all the sunlight, it's kind of bad today because it's like really gloomy, but when the weather is really nice, it's so gorgeous and then the sunlight is like all on the ground and it makes the area feel a lot more open and in my old school, I was super claustrophobic, but coming out here makes me feel refreshed and happy. Here again, you can see the entrance of our school. People are taking yearbook photos there. Some are dancing, I don't know what's going on, but it's a happy place at SFS, you know? You know? So we do have lockers for people who play sports or have large um, things to carry. We use these large lockers. You can see that there are different sizes varying from the duffel bags, swim bags, and the two printers over here. And I don't really know what this is. We don't really use it, but I think some of the IB students use this to put down their notes, um, which is really interesting. And this is like all the recycle bins where our school is super keen about um, saving the environment and everything. Okay, here is another don't mess with me at sleeping areas. Now I'll be taking you to the classrooms. So first you can see there's lockers. Um, I love these lockers because like they have the um, locks right built in and this makes it so easy to not only unlock but it's not a hassle to like with the normal locks. So it's really nice and large, which is really important for that. Each floor has four of these water dispensers, two in each. <laughs> Sorry about that. Each floor has four water dispensers, two on each wing, and they have warm and hot water, so it's really great. And it doesn't have that weird mineral taste that the usual water dispensers do. So come here. I'll go into this classroom because it's empty. So this is the setup of our SFS classrooms. Um, because of Corona, it's really sad, but we these all of these um, desks are separate. But these desks are actually made to be part of a group. So usually they would have been in groups of four or three. I love it. I love these classrooms because the whiteboards are all across the boards, so all students and teachers can use anywhere. And there's a TV and a projector for the teacher to use both or either or. Um, another good part about the school, like I mentioned before, 
Sorry, man. Sorry, man. The cameraman is going a little bit. He's he's a little bit tired today. <laughs> but uh, something other thing I love about this school again is the sunlight. All the windows and like glasses, like glass um, walls are really bright and makes you less tired because you have sunlight. So oh, and it's also really really pretty when it's snowing or it's fall or spring because you can just see. All these trees and houses like turn into like a bright, beautiful color, and I love that about this. Well, one of the aspects of an NYP IB school is that we have design classes. So when we come here, we have like a lot of Macs where people work on like creative projects, where we can actually make physical products and digital products. It's I think it's a really cool class that we have. So yeah. Hi guys, so the audio is really bad, so I'll be coming here with a voiceover. So these are the chairs that are in the library. They're super comfy, really big. I always study here to sleep, read books. Um, and our library has a variety of like individual sitting spots, as you can see on this side. And also these high tables where people just study and chill. It's really nice with the sunlight as well. Another sitting area is at the end of the library. This is mostly for group study sessions, just chilling. A lot of people just take naps here even though you're not allowed to. But I just really love this space in the library and it's really collaborative. A special part of our library are the different rooms that we have that are able to be rented out by all students. I think there are around eight rooms at the moment, but this is one you have, there's a play video max floor here, and you can study, talk. There are a lot of tutoring sessions because this whole thing is on the whiteboard, so a lot of stuff happens here. Um, you can't even hear, but some kids always do. <laughs> Me, but yeah, it's just a really nice place to hang out in the library, and the libraries are really nice as well. So that was it. So now we'll be looking at the Lisa Center, which is the music room, the music. Center Paradise for our school. So let's go. So first I'll be showing you the hall that we have, which is the main stage that almost all of our concerts and musicals plays all happen. So right there. So this is not the main entrance. We were just going through the balcony, but I just it had to do a pretty view, so let's come in this way. Right now, um, they're preparing for the choir concert, which I think they had yesterday. So you guys can see here. Um, I think there's around like 700 seats in here, so mm -hmm. it's really pretty. And if you see over there, Pan David. On the stage, there's like a little box where um, it actually collapses, so there can be an orchestra or band playing on below the stage, which I always play because I'm in the orchestra. So this is the practice rooms and where everyone has their classes and so come over here. Um, I'll show you. You can come here during lunch or during class for a private room. Yeah. And um, yeah, we always come here, hang around, um, play some music. And I'll be now taking you to the band and orchestra room. Let's get ready. These are the lockers that we use for our instruments. Um, come over here. It's gonna be kind of dark, but yeah, I don't have the lights. I don't think I'm allowed to come here right now, but this is where I have my orchestra class. Um, yep. I come here almost every other day during um, class and also after school because I am in chamber orchestra. I basically live in here and I love this room. And technically the band room looks almost exactly the same. This is the lobby, the beloved lobby. We always come here just to eat, chill, and wait before class starts. Most people are actually just like sleeping over here, but it's <laughs> such a good place to just hang out with your friends and like I have made so many memories over here. I don't think I'm allowed to go to the choir room right now because I have class. But yeah, this is technically all that is there for the Lisa Center. It's a lot bigger. Um, and have more like dressing, oh they have backstage dressing rooms, a lot of like um, preparation decoration rooms for set sets for our musicals which are amazing as Soul Foreign School. So, but the places that the students go to, that was technically it. So let's go back to the high school campus. 
So, so right now, um, they're having the PE class over there, which we also have in the gym or the field. But today it looks like it's only for our sophomore friends right over there. But right now we'll be going to the cafe to see all the delicious foods and drinks that our school offers. Let's go! showing um, highlight reels of our sports teams, our sports team from like 1957 all the way up to now. And here you see our varsity jacket, um, the Letterman jacket where this is like the main like face and you get your patches and you're supposed to stick your patches on the side. I think, oops, I think it's actually really pretty and the color is red and white classic. And here are the plaques of our students who got recruited to um, play in uh, play sports in universities, which is so amazing. Imagine going to school with sports. I can never do that. So yeah, and I'm not gonna go in here because I think all the rooms are locked, but if you go down there, we have our gymnastics room, our cheer room, we have a squash room, uh, a workout gym, I think. Yeah, I think it's probably cool, but we have a huge gym where people can just, it's like an actual place to just work out. So yeah. Okay, so this is the pool deck. We have a really nice pool, as you see, and here everyone can watch when there are tournaments, just when your friends are swimming. And also we have a Crusader Sports YouTube channel where we do ESPN. So a lot of them do it here and live stream that tournament. This is our pool over here. It's really nice and all my swimmer friends love staying at the deck because apparently it's just a nice chill place for you to hang out with your friends. I also love the fact that this whole building is red and white. That's just so cool to me. And yeah, that's technically it for our pool. We have a swimming unit. I think every grade has it once a year, so around one month per school year. So yeah, uh, this year because of Corona, I couldn't swim at all, but. All my summer friends do in the morning. So yeah, that's it. Wait. Thank you guys for watching the tour today. I had a lot of fun filming for you guys and hopefully you guys have a good understanding of how our SFS to, um, high school looks like. So yeah, we'll be ending the video right here and bye.